Number 12 is involving inverse trig functions. We have an inverse cosine of cosine of uh, square root of 8. Now what you want to look at uh, is there's some rules that we talked about in the section on inverses that talk about whether or not you can cancel this. One of the rules that you'll look at in the notes was if we have this inverse cosine of cosine of x, that does equal x if, so if, x is in the interval from 0 to pi. That's the only way that you can allow that to cancel out is if x is between 0 and pi. Now the, the number, numerical value of pi is 3.14. So all I have to do is figure out what the numerical value of square root of 8 is and that's going to tell me whether or not uh, this is going to be true. So if I get the value of uh, square root of 8 over here, um, that value is, we know it's going to be a little bit less than 3. We know that square root of 9 would be 3. And so square root of 8, what we know about it is, without actually even getting the value in the calculator, we can estimate what that value is. So square root of 8, square root of 9 I know is exactly 3. So square root of 8 will be a little bit less than 3. And I know the numerical value of pi is 3.14, so I already automatically know that uh, square root of 8 is less than pi. So I know it, it will definitely be in this interval. So since square root of 8 is in the interval from 0 to pi, then cosine, so we're going to take inverse cosine of cosine of square root of 8 should be equal to the square root of 8. So if you're not sure about this, you can always double check with a calculator to get the, the actual decimal values for both of those, but uh, we were able to get it just by estimating, just thinking about what these numbers should be. Uh, square root of 8 definitely will be in that interval, and then we know it cancels out. Now, if, if it turned out that that wasn't the case or it wasn't the interval, then we can't say for sure that it cancels out and you'll get square root of 8 as your answer. Um, but on this one, uh, it does work out, so uh, the answer would be square root of 8.